Hey Internet, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a picture box move with the keyboard keys. So first step, open Visual Basic 2008 and create a new project. Name whatever you want. Go to your toolbox. Give me a moment, my computer's being slow. And add a picture box. Uh, my computer's really being slow right now. So yeah, move the, move the picture box to about the middle of the form so you have some space to play around with. And go to the picture box tasks change the size mode to stretch image choose your image import pick whatever thing you want to use hit open and hit ok and I'm just gonna rename this to P1 because I'm lazy and I don't feel like um, typing out picture box 1 every single time so go to your code go to form 1 events and make a key down event and you're going to type the following text and I'll explain this in just a second <coughs> okay so dim loc is points that's just saying you're just declaring the loc which is short for location as a point on form 1 and you need this, you need to do this or else none of this will work. Very important. So, this right here, if e.keycode equals Windows Forms keys A, then that's just saying if you push A on the keyboard, and I'm going to change that to left. So when you press the left directional key on the keyboard, it will do this, which is basically saying move to the left unless you're about to hit the leftmost border of the wall. That's what this equation right here says. Unless you're about to hit the left equation of the wall, not left equation, left border of the wall, then relocate the picture box according to this. And this is just the same thing except for the right direction. I'm going to change that from D to right. So let's give that a quick test left works and right works okay now we're going to code in up and down the up and down equation is a little bit different because you're using the y instead of the x to determine where it's going the x is the horizontal plane the y is the vertical plane and it's pretty much the same thing except the equation is a little bit different instead of x minus 5 it's y minus 5 and from w I'm going to change that to up and from s I'm going to change that to down so give that a test shot and you've got a moving picture box that stops at the borders for the most part. Now as a added bonus, since I've still got like six minutes left, I'm going to show you how to make it uh, so that it can sense when it hits something else. So add another picture box. Change its image so you can see what it is. I'm just going to use my white smiley face. I'll, I'll just get a couple of those. Uh, rename them from picture box one to white smiley face. And white smiley face two. And on the load event for form one, I'm going to have why smiley face to being invisible
So, back to the key down events. The code for um, for it to detect if it's hitting something else is real simple. Just put, and you'll have to excuse my typing speed, I'm typing with one hand right now, got the camera, it's a microphone. Um, if p1 dot bounds dot intersects with open parentheses white smiley face then and set white smiley faces visibility to zero not zero uh false oops Oh, oh, right, I forgot that part. After the uh, white smiley face in the if-then statement, you have to put dot bounds and then close parentheses. And then we're going to have white smiley face 2 being visible as a result of that. So let's give that a little shot. Move this around. Oh no, we're gonna catch it. Oh, and I haven't coded anything for that, so nothing will happen there. But yeah, you get the point. That's how you code it so that a picture box will move, and how it detects if it's going to crash into something or not. You can make games from this, I do believe. So. Have fun with that, and deuces.